now the speech will be for uh, architect Saif Abu Naga, uh, who presents uh, the Society of Egyptian Architects. Thank you very much for this opportunity and this invitation from Shuruk Academy. I think it's an organization uh, included this uh, UIA, UMAR, and national section with the university. It will be very good network to make a conclusion for this very, very smart uh, object. I think this uh, uh, evolution of architecture education era of COVID-19, it is the umbrella of our team, but uh, I like to put my words in, uh, in different uh, comment and highlighting some added value about some ideas uh, as a national section. I'm very happy that uh, uh, UIA President Thomas Bonnier covering this uh, changing picture for architecture education, integrated with Magda Mustafa about uh, realities and responsibilities. I think they both integrated to cover a most important principle of education uh, process and future, including this the changing picture to the future, what we can face uh, the education and practice. You know. uh, Rasim Badran, he put different approaches that he speak about the interaction between uh, student, uh, young, and also the professor to be integrated with face-to-face, uh, -face, not to be uh, online, but also this interaction more efficient for understanding in brainstorming ideas and conceptual process. Uh, uh, professor Dr. Namir Heikel, I think he presents a lot of details about past uh, paradigmatic architecture education, especially for uh, uh, transformation. And what we can do in this period of transformation with uh, curricula and classrooms, also uh, the practicing by exchange knowledge and experience. Wasim, he was a clever very well, because he covered everything by teaching architecture future and uh, i think uh, because he's a mediterranean uh, culture he cover a lot a lot of thinking what i can say it. and i'm very happy to 100 uh, uh, percent support you what you said uh, especially you open minded about all type of thinking especially for uh, uh, not only for COVID-19, but also for the uh, crisis of uh, the Thank environment. <laughs> Within training and culture, very engaged. But uh, also, I like to to focus something about what I said, my message about how, by the Arctic awareness, when we maximize this awareness, we can create architecture, interior design, reduce the risk of COVID-19. Let me say something about generation skills. We have a very smart young generation has a very uh, smart uh, skills in e-learning and communication, social media and uh, network, and uh, also this type of new e-learning interaction. Let me say something about the impact of Corona architecture, pandemic effort. This effect on architecture industry. We have in the architecture industry, and we will change. Uh, we will have impact, strong impact in this industry. Uh, this a part should be added in our consideration when we like to treat this idea about before and after COVID-19. Also the Arctic against uh, coronavirus, how the Arctic is helping uh, fight coronaviruses. 
I think under umbrella of SDG, Sustainable Development Goals, we can find a lot of solution, a lot of guidelines. Anyway, return to the e-learning architecture and how the pandemic uh, reshaping hospital as an example. I think that after COVID-19, we have a lot of hospitalities or of hospital uh, architecture and design changing. We have a lot of uh, consideration. Life after COVID-19, it changed. Also, we can say that the life before COVID-19 and life after 19, it is completely changed. How Corona viruses will change architecture, design, and everyday life, our side life, it will change architecture. For that, we need architect to put in consideration the design, interior, architecture, material, HVAC, uh, sanitary, lighting, natural lighting, and furniture, and ventilation, all of that under uh, treat or design of architect uh, should be put in consideration. It's completely changed. Also, the urban design, architecture and urban design uh, of the past, COVID-19 create a new cities. Our cities should be modified to be acceptable, uh, this modification. I think return to my focus point that maximize awareness of architects' responsibility toward to create architecture and interior design, reducing the risk of COVID-19. For that, we like to, to, to produce a type of architecture, reduce this risk of COVID-19. Life after COVID-19 uh, completely with never this uh, the same as before. Humanity, it's our constitution principle in UIA. Humanity will still find these trends of recover. For that, life and hobbies will change, and our home will rejoin, change also. Our home, our office, our street, our cities, social environment will also change under the influences of new uh, changing of COVID-19. Working will be from the home, changing uh, all of lifestyle will change. We are in communities and we are all connected together and all together we can always Find the answer and solution to the most difficult question and crisis. All together we can find. But the architect responsible to reflect this new uh, this new uh, future uh, vision for the graduate architect, the under college and university education. In reality, it is not education. In reality, it is a big platform of learning. For that, I think the ability to think creatively by creativity, to imagine novel solution, the way of thinking, to survive street poverty, to be major assets. هي اللي هتبقى الاسيت بتاعتنا. The way of thinking, how to evolve, to adapt our brain to solve the challenges or solve the problem, solve this. The way of thinking, the way of creativity, how to think very creatively. A lot of uh, market shutdowns, micro market, hyper market, operate during this COVID-19, it's shutdowns. For that, we like to think how to, 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 to put this uh, 
uh, market in intensive care, including design and sizes, tools, communication, delivery, provide services, all of that under uh, imagine of imagination of the architect and responsibility. I think these are the moment, very good opportunity to the human can overcome things more than we never expected. Very dr dramatic change, not a shifting paradigm, but also it is uh, like uh, Magda said, pandemic shifts or pandemic paradigm shift because not also under pandemic, but also under uh, changing of uh, thinking or paradigm uh, uh, shift. Anyway, the human the human centers design HCD. It will be jumping up to our designs. This came from looking, understanding, then making solution and possibility from ob our observation, challenges, opportunity, and creativity. We can find a new future possible possibility. This the way of thinking. Maybe we can follow the diamond model from uh, from the uh, problem to the solution. For that, the way of thinking for the archic under uh, under uh, under uh, under e-learning, we should concentrate about the way of thinking by some models. For that, our consideration for e-learning, I think. We, we have a very good opportunity for concentrate for the way of thinking and uh, think creatively. The important question, how the architect built this for who am I building for this for? The architect building for this for whom? Who built? Who will use in this area? The user of these spaces. What is the contents? This question is very important. I think we built or architect for the users, and user has a needs, and these needs in the environment, uh, in some context. I think when this situation, I want to this. Nativation, so I can expect it outcome solutions. For that, Q and A, who will be used this and when? This means the architecture using after uh, COVID 19 should be changed. The question is during and after COVID 19. When the during, we have a design. But after we need more flexible to absorb all needs during and after COVID-19. Research and development. Research and development. But also we have reached goals. If you like to concentrate or to select or to reach goals, return to the SDG. We have 17 goals. Should be matching between our Rich goal and uh, strategic sustainable development goals. Generally, to live uh, uh, to live happily and bring and bring happiness. That means our life in good quality of happily and brain should be bring happiness. This from our challenges to solution from roots to fruits. Modular solution, open spaces. Energy use of stairs. That should be, in, sorry, I said 
encourage use the stairs. Encourage use the stairs. As example, if we like to avoid a lift problem, we our design should be uh, welcome and encourage use the stairs. If we may and maximize open spaces, it will be more healthy. The moderate solution, I think, uh, indirect transmission, natural ventilation, natural lighting, and clean spaces, mosquito uh, protection. A wine mesh, as an example, healthcare design, ventilation technology, and uh, and uh, antimicrobial uh, material. House, it will be instead of ap apartment. Houses, it will be instead of apartment, because this uh, horizontal uh, grows better than uh, this vertical and complex apartment. I think important point, uh, points. Self-sufficient home in sustainable home as a new offices. That means work will be in the home. The urban farming, the urban farming, greenery. It will be in urban context and smart material. And the material is very important issue in our case. The material like glasses, like uh, uh, metal, ceramic, wood, and plastic, other like aluminium, copper. If we dis the make a, uh, if we follow this COP19 COP surviving period of the different material surfaces, we find. 120 hours for metal, 120 hours for ceramic, wood 96, plastic 72, stainless 72, aluminium 8 hours, copper 4 hours. For that should be uh, learn or inform the, the practitioners and also undergraduate uh, students about all the material efficiency and different material surfaces uh, for surviving period. That's for only for COVID-19, but also for other viruses should be our, our concern. Marble, floor finishing, and uh, epoxy, wood, stone, plastic, textile, furniture. Anyway, should be also put in our consideration to maximize hygienic information and uh, in, uh, uh, sciences how the hygienic to be hygienic material how to apply the hygienic principle in material selection we need a smart design my general recommendation to updating all uh, curricula learning uh, for needs after COVID-19 with our consideration, what I said, and we can put it in our recommendation, uh, especially what Thomas, Tom, and uh, Magda, and uh, Rasim, and Namir, and Wasim, all of all of them contribute a very, very, very special recommendation, not only in education but also in uh, design uh, practicing and uh, architecture uh, production. I think our architecture industry should be start from different approach. And this a moment is as a human can overcome things uh, in very, very smart way. Thank you for everybody's contribution. And I like to put my, uh, my special thank for the Academy, uh, Shuruk Academy and all organizers and hope that to return to focus about uh, human center design or architecture design. This modeling should be a part of our, uh, our uh, uh, simplify uh, the, all of this principle to put it in uh, HCD model 
that's already uh, starting from different approaches of our uh, architects around the world. Thank you very much.